Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. So today we're going to talk about whether you should be upgrading the stock springs or moving to solid bed mounts. Um, I've done videos on installing both of those, so I will link to both in the description. Uh, but this video is really geared more of a comparison, kind of talking about the two and what option or what direction I would recommend you go in. Alright, so before we get started, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. Now let's talk about why you want to upgrade the springs to begin with really quick. Uh, the stock ones are just really cheap. Uh, you can compress them quite easily just with finger strength. And uh, when the printer is actually in motion, all that vibration and movement uh, just causes them to uh, basically com compress and decompress a little bit to the point where they end up shifting the bed level. So if you level your bed with these and you're not running a BL touch or anything like that, you might get one or two prints before you have to basically re-level it again. Uh, they're just not that good. The replacement spring upgrade, which I have on this printer here, I ended up going with the yellow springs on it. Um, they are a little bit taller and they're a lot stronger metal and it takes a lot more strength to compress them. So once you actually get them in place, they tend to stay in place. So if you're not using a BL touch, you can probably get uh, five, maybe 10 prints between bed levels on them. Um, I don't have an exact number just because I am using the BL touch, but if I remember correctly, I was able to pretty consistently get five plus prints between leveling the beds when using just the springs. And the upgrade is not expensive. We'll talk about price towards the end. Uh, neither upgrade option is expensive. Uh, with this option, I ended up getting the aluminum red wheels that you can see here too, just more of a cosmetic thing. It was a couple dollars more. Um, but overall, these springs do a great job. And I would say the only downside is they're still springs, so they do still have some give. Um, but that's typically fine and it does make it easier to account for larger adjustments if for whatever reason you're working on an uneven build surface or um, like counter. Actually, that's what we're talking about here for a second. If you're assembling the printer somewhere where you're not going to be using it, uh, let's say on the carpet, for example, if you're sitting down just putting the printer together uh, like I did on this, when I actually moved it up to the counter, uh, I can go like this and the entire frame would just kind of wobble a little bit because it was not level at the bottom. Uh, so in that situation, what I had to do is uh, un pretty much loosen the main bolts uh, for the frame, kind of push it in place a little bit and then tighten everything back up and it got rid of the issue. Uh, so if your printer's doing that, I would try to fix the frame before trying to make the compensating adjustments um, with the actual springs or anything like that. All right, so back to the comparison. So the spring upgrade is really good uh, just in general because A, it's cheap, it allows you to make larger adjustments, and it works pretty well. Um, the downside is if you're not using a BL touch, you might have to adjust the Z-stop a little bit uh, just because to account for the height of the spring. And they, they are springs, so they still do move around a little bit. They have a little bit more give than the solid mounts will. Uh, if you're using a BL touch, um, they work just fine. Uh, but if you're doing the manual level, you can probably get five or 10 prints um, be between leveling them. All right, so now let's jump over to the solid bed mounts. I have them installed on this and I'll link to that installation video in the description below. Um, but basically, they are solid rubber mounts, just as I described. Uh, they're not that expensive and uh, they do a great job. They pretty much come at the same height and then there's a um, extra plastic piece you can buy in some of the kits to account for the cable harness over here, which I would. Uh, I talk about that in the install video as well. But overall, uh, with the solid bed mounts, it's more of set it and forget it type deal. Um, I turned off my BL touch and I ran through uh, 15 prints just to see what it would do. And after 15 prints, my bed was still level, so I didn't have to really worry about making adjustments. I'm sure at some threshold you will have to re-level it or if you're messing around with the printer moving it around a lot. Um, but it was nice to be able to go 15 prints without making adjustments and without using the BL touch. Uh, so for those of you who don't have a BL touch and are mainly trying to stick with a stock printer, um, the solid bed mounts are great and honestly they're about the same price again we'll talk about price here in a couple minutes all right so pros of the uh, solid bed mounts are they are cheap they're easy to install and they hold the bed in place longer your cons are going to be um, you really 
can't make any type of large adjustments. It's really hard to compress those. So you're gonna to wanna to get them tight so that it doesn't move around, but you won't be able to make any type of major adjustments like you'd be able to on the spring if you had to overcompensate for something being warped or out of place or something like that. So just keep that in mind. Um, another thing that's worth mentioning is you can actually print the solid bed mounts. There are some STL files on Thingiverse for them. They do work. I ended up buying them just because I wanted to uh, test out the ones that you can buy. They do have a little, uh, the insert in the middle is a little bit different. So they are slightly different and it has the uh, harness adapter as well with it. Uh, and at the price point, frankly, I was just gonna go that route. All right, so speaking of price, um, the price between the two are pretty much spot on if you're getting the harnessed here, which I think was a couple extra dollars, and the actual aluminum wheels. Actually, I think with the aluminum wheels, this was a little bit more than the um, solid bed mounts. But if you wanted to just get the mount without the harness or the springs without the wheels, uh, you're pretty much right in the same ballpark. I think you're looking at between like five to eight dollars for that upgrade. So it's not bad. And again, these stock springs suck. So it's definitely worth doing that upgrade. All right. So now that we kind of talked about uh, what both of the options are, let's talk about what I would recommend. Uh, my recommendation would be to go with the solid bed mounts in pretty much every case except if you have to make any type of large adjustments on one side or the other. You're not going to be able to do that with the solid bed mounts. So if you, for whatever reason your printer needs that extra adjustments to level out the bed, um, you're going to want to go with the springs. Uh, for any other reason, you're really going to want to just go with the solid bed mounts. I mean, you're talking the same price. There's not really much loss there. And they just say level longer. Uh, so what that means for you is you just kick off your prints. You don't have to worry about checking to see if the bed's level, except for maybe once a month. Just add that to your normal uh, maintenance routine or whatever that is. And if you're using a BL Touch, uh, you might not even have to adjust it at all unless you're making other modifications to the printer. All right, so that covers a high level overview of why you want to upgrade uh, the stock springs. I talked about what your upgrade options are and what my recommendation is, which is a solid bed mount in pretty much every case. Uh, I have installed videos for both of these. Like I mentioned, I will link them in the description below. I go into the complete install uh, process for each option and talk about uh, pros and cons of that option a little bit more in depth in that video. That's why this is a little bit shorter of a video. Um, but I did want to go back and do this video because I had people in Discord kind of asking which route I would recommend going. And I already had the videos kind of covering the install process, but I kind of wanted to do the video to bring that together which is what this video is. Right, so if you have any questions about what we talked about here or would like to leave any other feedback, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.